What's up YouTube fam, Mel here. Welcome and welcome back to another episode of Double Helping. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you a super simple pesto recipe, which I think is great because it's an easy way to sneak in some extra veggies, but also it creates a lot. So you can spice up that normal dull, boring meal prep. Before we get into the recipe, my sis and I feel like it's important from time to time just to go over what double helping is all about. So neither one of us follows a specific diet. We more so try to focus on eating real foods. Therefore, you'll notice our recipes include a lot of wholesome ingredients and a very minimal amount of packaged items. If we do include recipes with packaged items, we always read our labels and make sure that we find things with the least amount of unnecessary ingredients. Preferably none at all. However, you will notice that we do provide a lot of dairy alternatives, but that's simply because we eat dairy, but we're just trying to reduce the amount of dairy that we intake. In addition, we do understand today's demand. Therefore, you will notice that we include a lot of recipes that are plant-based friendly or paleo or gluten-free because we do try to incorporate those whenever we can. Now last, we do encourage you to eat organic, especially in your meat and the produce when you're gonna be eating the skin or the item comes from the ground. Now we do understand that that can be pricey at times. So if nothing else, definitely look for labels that are non-GMO. Now that I've gone over that, let's just go ahead and get into our recipe. I really hope you enjoy. First, let's clean our meat. So I'm using two medium chicken breasts. I'm just gonna place them in a large bowl, add half of a juiced lemon and water to clean. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna drain the water out of the bowl and add my seasonings. I'm adding one teaspoon of avocado oil, but you can use any higher quality oil of your choice, and one teaspoon of Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute. I really love this seasoning because it's a combo seasoning like Miss Dash. It doesn't have salt, so if that's something you're trying to reduce, it's great for you. I pretty much always use this on my chicken. Of course, you can use any seasoning blend you'd like or just stick to salt and pepper because our pesto is gonna be bringing most of the flavor to our food. Next. I'm just gonna place this in my air fryer at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes and flip halfway through cooking. You can do the same in the oven. However, it may take a little longer. Just check on it to make sure that you don't dry your chicken out as this can happen easily in the oven with a chicken breast. Next, let's make our super simple pesto. Now I'm using my high speed blender. However, if you have a food processor, you can use that instead. I'm adding one cup of thawed frozen peas. In case you're wondering if frozen peas are healthy, they're fine. If you check the label, frozen veggies usually only contain that veggie. Next, I'm gonna add a handful of fresh parsley one fourth of a cup of walnuts, one fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese, half of a juiced lemon, three cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of avocado oil, half a teaspoon of salt, and then just pulse until it's blended. Now, if you're using a blender like me, um, as you pulse, you can actually take your spatula and push the ingredients back down towards the blades at the bottom of the blender to make sure that it mixes. 
but after a few pulses, you will have a nice creamy pesto, such as this one. And for me, it made um, just under two cups of pesto. So y'all, if you're enjoying what you see so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this recipe with friends. Next, let's move on to our food options. So I'm gonna boil some noodles. Lately, I've really been enjoying banza, I believe is how you say it, chickpea noodles. However, you can use any type of noodle that you'd like. I'm just gonna boil half of the box. And then while that's boiling, I'm gonna chop up one medium sized red and yellow bell pepper and about half of a cup of Bella mushrooms. Once those are chopped up, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of avocado oil to my pan. I'm gonna turn the heat to a medium low and I'm gonna saute my veggies. Next, once my noodles are finished cooking, I'm gonna drain them, then I'm gonna add them to the sauteed veggies, and then add all of my pesto sauce. Chop up those two chicken breasts once they're done cooking. And there you go, you have a nice chicken pesto pasta. Now, depending on your appetite, this should give you about four servings. The next option, I'm going to be making chicken pesto tacos. So I'm gonna be using Siete cassava flour tortillas. What I usually do is just heat them up first. So I'm gonna turn my heat to about a medium, add a teaspoon of oil to a pan, and then I'm just gonna heat both sides of the tortilla for about two to three minutes each. Then I'm gonna build my tacos. So first, I'm just gonna add up some of my chopped chicken breasts, then some provolone cheese, roasted red peppers. Now, I couldn't find any organic or non-GMO on this grocery trip. However, I did find this brand which has them in water so no additional unnecessary ingredients were added. So I'm just gonna add that. And then I'm gonna top it with a dollop of my pesto sauce. This is about a tablespoon or so. And you're ready to enjoy. So for this recipe with the chicken breast, I was able to get about eight tacos. So I did have some pesto left over. You can easily store this in a jar in your fridge or airtight container for about a week and use it. There you have it, two great non-standard meal prep options. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this recipe with friends. Also, let us know what you think of the recipes and what you'd like to see more of. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.